Somebody had recently asked about using the tuck stitch along with some stockinette stitch. And yes, you can do that. Uh, on this machine, the SK-155, what you're going to do is, <clears throat> I have the number one card, so this is going to be like a mock seed stitch. But I set my cam to tuck. Now I'm going to knit a few rows of that. And actually, on the end stitch, where it did not knit, if you want to knit that, just bring that needle out and then hand knit that last stitch is all. Uh, this one here, it'd uh, be better if I had the side on the carriage to do that. But if you need that knit stitch going up on each side, uh, that's the way to do it. So now I want to do stocking up. I could do one of two things. I could lock the card in place so it doesn't advance. I could leave it unlocked and the card will advance, but I'm going to put my cam to stockinette now. I don't know if it's in the picture there. And let me do it. Watch the card is going to advance and what's going to happen is because the cam's set to stockinette, it's not going to do a tuck stitch here. And I think you could see there's the tuck stitch down here and here's the stockinette. Now I could do the same with slip stitch. Now I want to do some rows of stockinette. Just put the cam back to stockinette. And here is the finished little piece. Now you can see that the tuck stitch did come out wider than stockinette or even the slip stitch. But you can see how I have the tuck, stockinette, slip, stockinette with just changing my carriage, my cam setting on the carriage. And here is the knit side of the fabric.